Hey y'all, welcome back to Frugal Finds. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And uh, share this with your friends. <clears throat> Help my channel grow. I am going to be doing a giveaway. I'll have details on that um, in a video coming up. But I have reached 200 subscribers, which I'm thrilled. And so I'm going to do a giveaway. So keep your eye open for that. But right now I want to do a Dollar Tree haul. So I went, um, I had to have some injections in my neck today. And so I went out of town and uh, where my favorite Dollar Tree is. And they always have good stuff. So um, I'm gonna start with, I think my kids already got into this. The monster mash uh, monster mash remix so I've never had it once it's open let's look Can you see I see some blueberries they have these little um, the marshmallows and then they have a bunch of these green and purple. Well, that one was mixed. I think they're mixed colors. It's pretty good, y'all. It reminds me a lot of the blueberry and um, frankenberry. So, this is really nostalgic. Um, I don't do a lot of junk journaling yet, but if I did, I would probably use, cut these out, because these are from my childhood. Enough about that. The next thing I got were Thomas's. My kids got into these two already. Thomas's English muffins for dollar twenty-five. I know these are well over two dollars in the store. So, um, I was really um, surprised to see those. So, because um, I know a lot of y'all's Dollar Trees carry bread, but mine, this one, just started carrying it. So, anyway, this is a repurchase. So, y'all know my husband's a beekeeper. I love these bees. Um, and this is by um, Birch and Vine. But it's um, fresh milk. I didn't know, I didn't know what the flavor was when I first bought this. Because this is a repurchase. But I really liked it. And then I, when I showed you guys... I'd read the name of it, and I was like, ew, I hate milk, but it, it is really good. Um, we were out of paper bowls, and I'll tell you, right now, I do all I can not to have to wash dishes constantly, so I wanted to get those, and then I got some um, Hall uh, Halloween, Valentine's stuff. Um, there's my great day. Come here, Willow. You want to say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi to the people. Yeah. Oh, baby girl. Are you seeing if you got a Valentine? Anyway, that's Willow the Great Dane. So, um, I got these fortune cookies. There's ten or five pink and five red. And, um, so I'm going to give, divide those for my kids for their Valentines. I got these to go on. Um, my cards they're just like the conversation hearts and it says XO, cutie pie, hey you sweet pea, love you um, all mine call me I thought, and they're kind of puffy and iridescent so and then y'all I found I've seen people hauling these you get six for a dollar twenty-five um, I think their normal ones are three, at the most four, but um, I think they're only three. So I got a set of spoons and two sets of forks because um, those things disappear in my house all the time. And then I got this Brillo Basics Oxy Blast stain remover, and it's even got the little measuring cup in there. But I thought um, Brillo's a good name, so. For $1.25, I thought 
I'd give that a shot and see how it works. And then I got this little um, Valentine's Day game. It's the Conversation Hearts. And then you got these little stickers on the back to play bingo. So um, anyway, I thought that was something I've been trying to, wanting to play more games. I've played a few games at Christmas time with the kids. And uh, I thought it would be nice to that'd be something kind of fun. And then here's some more. There's a glare. That's better. So these are puffy and they have glitter. You can hear them. They're shakers. So um, I just really liked these little Valentine's um, shaker. <clears throat> um, the next thing I got was this heart ribbon lace. So let me pull it out so kind of show you. See how it's, it's hearts? So um, there was only one more of those left, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I actually am probably gonna put that in my Bible because I've been Bible journaling. And like, I put that on this edge of, um, like I come up with um, like finances say. Um, now I wouldn't use that for that. I'd probably use it more like lover relationship, but um, you find scriptures about different things you're, you look up and um, you color code it. So in the front of my Bible, there'll be a key and it'll have a little piece of this ribbon and next to it, it'll say relationships. So I know wherever this um, is in my Bible, that will be scriptures on love, relationships, whatever. But I have all different um, colors and um, so I'm just getting started on that. If that's something that you would like me to show you, um, comment and let me know. Maybe I can show you a little Bible journaling. So I'm definitely not an expert, but I'm trying. I got these for um, my kids. They're heart marshmallows and um, I got it for their uh, Valentine's um, basket. And then I got these pots. I'm gonna start, um, I wanna start some seeds because I really want to have a garden this year. So um, we'll probably get to my seeds later here. But um, these tiger pops I got for, these are the squirrels. I got those for the ease uh, say in every daggone for their Valentine's and then um, my son likes these jelly chews, heart jelly chews. So those are for the Valentine's. And this cotton candy is for Valentine's. And then I have been trying to do a little more plant protein. I don't like eating meat. Um, so I really lack when it comes to protein. So um, I picked up a bag of pinto beans and I'm thinking that I'm gonna put them in my um, Instapot. I want to soak them all night and then drain that water and cook them in my Instapot. Um, it won't be so as long as I do that. They'll, they'll um, cook a lot faster. So, and my mom always put baking soda. Um, did y'all's grandparents or parents put baking soda in the beans so they um, didn't cause flatulence? Let me know. Um, my daughter loves this fabric softener. I bought a box and I think in a week she went through it because she likes to put two and three sheets in one. Um, this is for my dining room that's done in bees. I'm looking for the uh, little battery operated lights that are bees as well. Hey Willow, I got something for you. I did get this um, bone um, for her and um, I'm gonna give that to her now. She can probably smell it. That's probably why she was over here. Is that why you was over here, girl? Or you just wanna be on film? It's double bagged, it's double bagged, Willow. I gotta get it open here. Oh, that's not hard. I say as I make a face. Ugh. It's really not hard, it's just awkward. There you go, good girl. 
All right. So, next bag. Um, I always, when it's the 25% more, I try to stock up on it. And um, I'm not really a prepper, but I have been trying to buy um, a little bit of, try to get my pantry up a little bit because, um, yeah, I'm afraid we're going to go into some rough times here. I just um, stopped at Speedway, and um, when I walked in, she said, um, we're card only. Um, I'm like, oh, are you, is your, what's, what's going on? Because usually they're cash only because their system's down. And she said, no, um, we don't have change. There's a big change shortage everywhere. This is exactly what happened with COVID. And um, my husband predicted it would happen again. So um, I look forward to go into currency like dollar bills going to be in a shortage next. And um, they're going to be pushing us to like get the implant. Um, they'll have an implant in here that you do all your banking and paying and whatnot with. But anyway, um, Hormel pepperoni. So this is a 1.75 ounce. There's two pouches here. I'll show you guys um, so you can see how much you get. Because um, I, I think it's a pretty decent deal. I need to count how many I get at um, when I get my pepperoni at Aldi's. It might not be. So there's two, four, oh, there's only like 16 pieces in each pack. So it might be cheaper to get at Aldi, but I was there. So, and I got some of these. Fudge covered cookies. These taste just like the Girl Scout cookies. Um, they're really good. So I got one pack of those. And then I got a pack of lasagna noodles. I think I, last time I made lasagna, I think I had um, used all of my all of my pe uh, lasagna noodles. So, seems like I got more than that, but that was enough, wasn't it? So, let me know what your favorite item was, as always. Um, I don't know. I I think the kind of torn, I, I think the Thomas's English muffins is a good deal. And um, I really liked getting these name brand. This is, um, I didn't tell you, it's by Gibson. Gibson! I didn't even realize that. Gibson is a good name. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, this would be my favorite. Six forks for $1.25 or spoons. They had the big soup spoons, the teaspoons, forks, and knives, I think. That's what they had. So anyway, um... So let me know what you liked and um, stay tuned um, for the next uh, time I come on. I'm going to um, tell you how to join the giveaway for my 200 subscribers. So uh, thanks again and have a good day.